The priest of Sais, Egypt, once told me, for it is related in our records how once upon a time your state stayed the course of a mighty host which starting from a distant point in the Atlantic Ocean was insolently advancing to attack the whole of Europe and Asia to boot. For the ocean there was at that time navigable far in front of the mouth which you Greeks call, as you say, the Pillars of Heracles, there lay an island which was larger than Libya and Asia together, and it was possible for the travelers of that time to cross from it to the other islands, and from the islands to the whole of the continent over against them which encompasses that veritable ocean. For all that we have here, lying within the mouth of which we speak, is evidently a haven having a narrow entrance, but that yonder is a real ocean, and the land surrounding it may most rightly be called, in the fullest and truest sense, a continent. Now in this island of Atlantis, there existed a confederation of kings, of great and marvelous power, which held sway over all the island, and over many other islands also, and parts of the continent.